Hey friends, so we are gonna unbox the Byredo Calhari palette together. I'm gonna do some swatches after, um, particularly comparing the colors that look alike. I also picked up the Cleoptera um, color, it's like a color stick. Um, I was just curious, I wasn't totally sure what, you know, what, what it was like. So I'll check that out. Um, these are a couple of perfume samples. We don't generally like a lot of uh, synthetic perfumes, so I don't expect to get much use out of these, but cute. Pretty color. It's kind of creamy, but it, it does have a density to it. it. Seems to blend and smudge really nicely. Oh, there is like a, hmm, there's some blue, blue shimmer reflex in there. Let's see if I can catch the light. Definitely has a little bit of uh, really fine glitters in it. Well, it says you can kind of use it however you want, so we'll have to play with that and see what we can do. Okay. So the three eyeshadow that seem to look the most alike are these three and then these three. They're all sort of in this, you know, beigey brown family. So I'm going to swatch those together rather than going in order of the palette, which is very um, sort of an eclectic style of, you know, random color inspirations. There's not really any like rhyme or reason, but... Um, the beige ones seem to all have a similarity, so we're going to put those together.
Okay, so I, I moved the desk a little bit and tried to see if I could catch some more light. So the first, that means this is in a different direction than we started with. So the first three here are this one, this matte creamy sort of um, camel beige color, and then this bronzy shimmer. And then we're going to jump to this one, which is also another bronzy shimmer. And I'm not sure if or how that's any different from that one. So this is a little bit more peachy and it has like some multicolored little reflex in there. This has just a little bit more brown. And then this is also has some multicolored reflex in there, but it's a little bit paler. Then as I'm seeing these in the light, these two are more pink. Uh, they're not really as beige as I thought they were. And this is like very glittery. So we'll go next to this uh, like beigey gold. Yeah, so that's more, it's more light and it has more like subtle different colors in there, like a little prismatic kind of effect in there. Little pink glitters and blue and lavender with this like champagne kind of a base. Maybe it's a topper. Then we'll do this pink one. It's a really shiny. All of them feel pretty durable, like creamy, cream powders, almost. Mm -hmm. It's like a pink with a gold reflect. Lovely. And then this one. peach. This is a little, yeah, much more mm, warmer, peachier with, yeah, like silver and gold shimmer in it. So those are the ones in the palette that look most like each other. You can kind of see them up close, their differences. Okay, good to know. So while we're sort of in the pink family, we'll go ahead and, and move to the other pinks. So let's do this one up top first. It's like a pretty vibrant like, yeah, coral, coral pink. Not, it's not glittery, but there is a little bit of a, a like a satin sheen to it. And this one. So that's a lot more shimmery, lighter in tone. Lighter in depth, really. They're pretty similar in tone, actually. So let's do this chocolatey brown. Lovely staple. Then we'll do this tangerine shade. A 
that one's a little bit more powdery, but still seems to blend out pretty evenly. Let's see. I need more space for my arm, so we're gonna. All right, so done mostly like the browns, the pinks, the corals. Let's uh, let's do this clay brown. This is like a neutral putty color, almost olive, maybe. neutral to cool stone kind of color, putty stone. Okay. And let's do this white. Very, very reflective. And then let's do this here. Gorgeous. It's like snow. Oh, huh. There is like maybe a little bit of base pigment in there. I'm not sure, but. Uh, let me wipe my fingers. Okay, so we have this gold in the center. That is. Stunning. Mm, that's beautiful. That is so classic. Yeah. Then we have this like brick copper. Yeah. Mm, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous color for olive skin. That was sort of my 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 thought for getting this palette was that it didn't seem to make decisions for me because of this sort of like randomized color scheme. I could see what colors I would need, um, particularly for like travel, if I wanted one palette that could give me sort of each of the looks that I tend to do, which is like you know, copper bronze, gold, green gold, peachy warm, and then just like, you know, neutral smoky. And it appears, you know, I haven't put these on my eyes yet, but it, appear, it appears to me that this could be a single palette for travel that would sort of give you staples, but also a lot of variety. So that was my thinking. But this, this like penny copper is absolutely gorgeous very creamy and there is a little bit of a shift in there I'm not sure if it's like mm, like gold blue I'm not exactly sure but you can sort of see my do there is really beautiful okay so we have the sort of antique olive color gorgeous mm. it's not really catching the light for you let's see we'll do olive here. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that's like a antique sort of khaki bronze with gold in there. Really, really lovely. And then, last but not least, we have the, uh, this sort of, it's like a slate gray with 
purple shimmer in there, like purple and silver, purple, pink, silver. Let's do that one. Really dazzling. And then we have this teal, which is like a vintage, uh, vintage blue based teal. So it has, mm, mm, it has like a red, almost a reddish undertone. That is beautiful. That reminds me of, um, what is it? There's one, <laughs> I can't think of it. I believe it's by Sydney Grace's Defiance maybe. It's like an, a red undertone blue. Um, and then also Phytosurgeons, Deeply Rooted. This is very similar to that. This is absolutely stunning. Did we miss any? Let's see, I don't think so. Yeah, so there she is, very beautiful.